Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah, and this is the next video for Red Dead Redemption 2. Ah, uh, <laughs> the last video was something. I feel like the last three videos have just been something. <laughs> Lots of emotional trauma going on here. Losing a bunch of people that I love, and then with this last one, finding out that Arthur has tuberculosis, and it's pretty bad, and he'll probably end up dying way before his time. So... That's great. I didn't cry at all. I know. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm sorry. It got it got a little messy there. I got mascara on my face. You know how it goes. It's just, it's the hazards. It, it comes with the job, you know, loving video games, playing through them. It's worth it. It's all worth it in the end, but it's just a little hard. I am discovering exactly where the redemption comes from in the name Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, the concept that Arthur is facing, and we as the player now are facing, of looking at our past actions and the good and the bad that we put in the world as Arthur, now that he knows that he is basically on a time limit, you know? He, he doesn't have forever, and trying to figure out what it all means. And he said so many times in the past that he's the bad guy. That's all he thinks of himself as, is, you know, this big bad outlaw, you know, and he's done terrible things. And he's mentioned it before, like when we sit down and we talk to Tilly, and I think, I think we talked to Mary, Mary Beth too about it, where he says, you know, I've been doing terrible things. I've been killing people just because, you know, and he doesn't know why. So he's been wrestling with the idea of him doing terrible things for a while before this even happened. But I feel with this realization that he doesn't have forever, it's put it into a new light. And that voiceover that he had, you know, as we got the diagnosis and we're walking away of, of I think it's Thomas Downs, but the, the sick man who we basically beat up and extorted for money, not really extorted, we tried getting his debt, you know, um, when he's this sick man who's hurting and doesn't have anything, you know, that was brought up, you know, and then seeing what happened to his wife, you know, Edith, who's now like on the streets trying to survive. The consequences of our actions is rough. <laughs> but I just, we put so much good into this world too, and there's still so much time to do more good. And I just, I really, really want Arthur to see that. And I, I hope, I hope that's where this goes with the whole redemption thing. <laughs> I don't know. I can't take- I, I was gonna say I can't take it if it doesn't, but at the same time, I don't think I'll be able to take it no matter what way this ends. The only way I'll be able to take it is if Arthur is miraculously cured and our whole little family's put back together again, Dutch is normal and drops his delusions of grandeur, and we accept the fact that we'll probably never get rich and live in Tahiti, but, you know, find our own little- little endings and live happily ever after. <laughs> But I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think any of those are gonna happen. Honestly, I have no idea how this ends. Like, you know, the best case scenario. Like, I don't- I don't know what that is. And that scares me. But I'm excited, tentatively. I'm excited for it. <laughs> I'm worried about all the pain, but I'm- I'm still excited. <laughs> I, speaking of excited, oh my gosh, Sadie. I loved Sadie's character before, but I feel like last video we got this true glimpse into who she is. The fact that she basically took over as a leader to the camp, got them all to safety, and was making sure that they're all okay. She's taking the initiative. She's a little bit, like, insane, and I love her. She's brash and bold and just probably the love of my life, honestly. Her and Arthur can share that spot in my heart, but I love that. And I'm excited to get John out. It looks like we're probably gonna, like, break him out of prison, which is badass and awesome. But I also, I miss him. I miss him, and I hope he's okay, and they, he's been treated well, I guess, in prison. I just, I'm rooting for any small bit of happiness that I could find. That's, that's about it. All right, before we get started, though, I do want to give a big thank you to all my patrons. You guys are incredible. Seriously, you make it possible for me to spend all this time playing video games and experiencing these amazing stories with you guys, and that's incredible. I'm also um, almost there to get a new mic, but um, XLR mics are expensive, and you have to get amps and uh, mixers and... <laughs> 
the pains of the process, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. I want to give a super big thank you to my top tier patrons, Chris and Paul. You guys are extra awesome. You're amazing. And I also want to say thank you to just everybody who started watching these videos. There's just been this massive wave of people coming in and I want to say hi. Thank you. Like, you guys are incredible. I mean, you're all here just to see me in some emotional pain. So I hope you're happy hope I've delivered on that. <laughs> but this story is incredible. And to see so many people love it and so many people come together and rant about it. <laughs> It's just really, really cool, and I'm glad that I get to share that with you guys. So thank you. I really appreciate all of you, and yeah. Who's ready for some more emotional drama, I guess? Let's go! Whew. All right, Why, well... This is all coming together wonderfully. The final piece of the puzzle. Happy I could help you out, sir. Still have to catch a criminal for you, but you know. Ay, all right, well, we're back. We're pretending like everything is fine. Um, so we have some side... Ooh, that's that's really far away for a side quest. But you know what? We're gonna do it. Because we don't need to do a main quest anytime soon. Because if I don't do a main quest anytime soon, then nothing bad will happen. At least that's uh, what I'm gonna go with. <laughs> I'm gonna pet my horsey. I am still so grateful we at least have Jimmy. There, girl. Everything else may be going terribly wrong, but we always have Jimmy. Uh, I don't even know why my health is so bad right now, but um, I know I gave lots of my food away, but... We're gonna make sure to feed Arthur a lot, even though I know it says that we can only get, like, some of the effects of eating now. I- I, I want him to be healthy. <laughs> I have to take care of him more than I've ever taken care of him before. Which, arguably, I did a pretty poor job at it, but... The way of things. <laughs> Man. Just the idea of riding through the towns, and like the roads, and the countryside, like, it's, it's refreshing. Ooh, so if I, if I do this, yeah, it's like autopilot mode, so that way I don't, um... You, yeah, you ran right in front of me, my dude. I was trying to change the, like, angle, yeah, of the cinematic camera, but I don't know if you can. I think this is good. We're just gonna, like, ride- am I gonna miss anything, though? Like, so many things happen when we ride on, like, just through the woods and unmarked paths, you know? Strangers pop out of nowhere. People get kidnapped. <laughs> you have to take strangers to the doctor and then fail because you trap yourself between uh, a rock and a hard place and then they oh, die you. Come here, please. you can see the bond I'm in I need help again Come again on. okay okay fine I know this doesn't look good but I swear I didn't do nothing wrong uh-huh you can't stay out of trouble can you set me free we're both down on our luck here oh my Okay, stay still. Right. Second time's yes. the charm. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought they were never coming off this time. Listen, buddy, I ain't got a red cent for you, and I feel terrible. But I did overhear something of interest. Okay. There's this old woman lives in a shack north of Strawberry. Word is she's a front. There's money and guns stashed there. What? I look the type for all that, huh? That's up to you, friend. All right. Well, have a good one. Yeah, where do we go to find these? Oh. Two of five townsfolk held up. Oh, man. I don't want to do that, though. Okay. So I still have quite a few of these to do. Okay. Um. Coach Robbery Lenny. 
Why is it still on there? That's just that's just something we did, right? Where where are these? North of Rhodes. Okay, okay. I'm sad. I'm very sad, but we're just gonna go. I don't even know where we are. Where is Rhodes? No. It's yeah, it's down there. Okay. These horse fence. Hmm. I wish they marked like the home robberies and stuff on the map, but we'll get there. We will get there, don't you worry. Oh wait, no, I would I would like the cinematic oh Yep. There we go. I still want you to go though, Arthur. Thank you. Ugh. This game. I love how populated it is with like wildlife. I wish it was like that in real life, but humans have uh, ensured that that's not really a thing. Does the cinematic stop you from crashing? Okay. <laughs> I got worried for a second. Ugh. It is lovely. I, I do like the angles, but I almost think I prefer writing by myself. Aww, look at them go. Just because it feels like I'm actually doing it, you know? Oh, that's a tree. But at the same time, autopilot's nice! And you get pretty views. And rabbits who almost run out in front of you and die. Are those wild horses? Oh. They're so pretty. See? I don't get that on autopilot. Sometimes I want to stop and smell the roses. Or stare at the, the pretty horsies. Hello? Buddy? Buddy? <laughs> Buddy? I love it. How far are we? Oh. It's... I mean, we're making progress. We're getting there. I almost think that I want to stop by every town that we've been to so far. Just because, like, when we went to Valentine the last time, um, just because it was, there was a quest nearby Valentine. We went back and there was a stranger quest that I don't remember seeing on the map that we got to do by actually going there. So I... I don't know, I feel like I'm missing out on some quests that aren't marked just because I'm not there and in proximity of it, so. Plus it'd be nice just to go back and like visit each town, see what's up. It feels like so much has changed, like so much time has gone by since we've been to places like Valentine. But when we started out, that was, that was all there was. Like I remember Valentine being this big old city like, ah, oh, look, civilization. And now coming from San Denis, it's so small and tiny. It's weird. It's weird how quickly you get used to things in this game. After they give it to you and then, then they just take it away from you. Like when we were suddenly on a, an island. Trying to survive. That was fun. Good times. Carriage. It says there's an enemy on my map, but where? Hey, partner. He wants me to go Don't off worry. into the woods here. I'm not gonna rob you, sir. Don't worry. Careful, horsey. I don't want to go off a ledge. We're gonna be super careful. Okay. Okay. It's okay, buddy. Oh, well, he is a criminal. That's why there's an enemy on my map. Because we're literally hunting down a dude so we can go give him the electric chair. Can I 
see a scent anywhere? No. I'm gonna have this out and um uh, this just in case. They up here oh they are aren't they you guys are really bad at being lookouts oh I run right in front of them are they gonna shoot me or can I like talk to them nope wow I just snuck up on all of them didn't I oh my god oh my god I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay. That's not McDaniels, right? Um, fucking. Oh, oh, Jimmy. Jimmy. Where is my horse? Why did you go all the way this way, Jimmy? Jimmy, let me on! Oh no! I'm gonna lose him! Oh, 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 oh! Cliff, 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 cliff! Gotta be- Aw, oh, shit. I was trying so hard. Not to, like, run off a cliff. I should have just stolen another horse, because my horse was in an inopportune- or I could just call my horse. Or I could just like fucking do this. Oh, is he? he he's running on foot. Last time he took a horse, didn't he? Yep. Okay. Well, if he wants to make it easier on me, I will not complain. Oh. Tie him up. Here we go. Yep. Oh, no. Nope. I got a special <laughs> treat for you. Get called bastard. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, please come back. Thank you. I don't want to carry him all the way back. As strong as Arthur is is. He's so healthy, right? So healthy. Can I please put him here? Thank you. Okay. Well, take me to damn cork then. <sighs> this ain't America. We ain't free no more. Okay. Can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Buried them that need a marrying and killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. And you came along and laid waste. Take me in, just take me to the jailhouse. Okay, dude. Well, we have a. You ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. Ooh. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, Mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. <laughs> Shut up. Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly, is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell you say, mister? <laughs> this professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you, humanely. <clears throat> no! No! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and... Run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. Don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's a professor and I'm the bounty catcher. I love but him. But as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, like they would. And we got a permit and everything. You Better than being hanged. Husbandry, am I right? Well, 
You ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Now, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across a pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air. Arthur is enjoying this. Hair. No, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, and half like the skin was ripped off. No, eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. Murder. If I hadn't seen the storm, <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But no, sir, it was lightning. <laughs> Electricity does something, all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Oh, He's such a dick. An and I say guy. that completely fondly. <laughs> <laughs> like I love it. He didn't have to spend like a whole minute and a half ranting to him about the horrible way that he's gonna die but he did and it sounded like he was smiling the whole time and i'm uh, i'm grateful <laughs> need some entertainment on this long ride to the electric chair <laughs> but honestly oh shit oh fucking shit fuck oh jimmy jimmy oh not you Fucking shit! Ow! Uh. Oh, fucking. Uh, hey, gone? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Hey, McDaniels, you all right? <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, me too. Well. You'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs> Come on, horsey. <laughs> it's okay, Jimmy. You can run away and I'll still love you. This I forgive you. Girl. Gunfights aren't for everyone. That's fine. I'm gonna unmark what we have saved. There. Okay. Oh, yep. I'm gonna make sure my fist is select. I have pulled out a gun accidentally far too many times. At least I haven't shot anybody accidentally in a long time. Okay, I've gotten better <laughs> since that time I accidentally killed that poor man. I guess I can't say I accidentally killed him. I accidentally shot him. But then he was gonna run away and report me, so I had to destroy all the evidence. So I did murder him on purpose. These things happen. Don't mind me. What's a girl to do? Hey there, mister. I must look so strange right now. Um, can I feed my horse? You're Here. all right, girl. There you go, horsey. Don't mind me, the stranger, just hogtied to the back of my horse. Nothing to see here. Move along. Doggy. Professor will be real pleased to meet you. Yep. Oh, no. Here, I got him. Do we get to watch? Don't be shy now. Let's go. Jimmy. Okay, here you go. Come on. Now where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well. Once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Uh-huh. Right. Right, let's get our... our, um... 
are poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Poor unfortunate come and watch. souls, It'll huh? Be amazing. Now come along. Oh. When I asked if we get to watch, I don't I don't know if I wanted to. If I follow him, do I do I get to see? Come on, Jimmy. Let's go witness an execution, maybe. I never understood. It was, it was such a big thing back in history to watch public executions. Like, I get it. Their lives must be pretty boring. But uh, my heart is far too soft to sit there and watch someone be killed. You almost ran that poor lady over. Hello. 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 Ooh, you almost ran into that pig. Oh, is that a dead pig or is it he's he's sleeping. That's all it he's Howdy. he's sleeping. Oh the puppy. Okay, Be careful. I don't want to run you over. Madam. Hey. It's my biggest fear. People just jumping right in front of to the Horse. I've already killed enough animals by accident. I don't want to add another. This is taking forever. I'm gonna cut ahead. Hello. 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 Hey, Mister. Hello. Unopen mail or parcels. Hello there. Stop. Get going, will you? Beep beep. I'm I'm clearing the way for the wagon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, the wagon's just going around. That's fine. What are you doing? Just Hello. Calm down. Sorry to hear that. Good luck. All the best. It's going so slow. Good. Girl. Ooh, did they get out? Ooh, is this where it's gonna be? Okay. You stay right here, horsey. Oh, do I come back at a different time, maybe? Like, is he gonna set everything up? Um, would you give me some room? Oh, sorry. Let the evil genius work Runner. in peace. Hey, then. Because if I just come back at a different time, then... I don't know. Hey, yeah, it looks like he's just gonna stand there. That's that's fine. Hello. Hello. My honor is so high. Yeah. I'm like happy, but also sad. So it's like, I don't know, when you start getting closer to like end game, where all your stats max out, which is worrying. It's like whenever you see like um character progression, like, skill bars and stuff that you build up over the course of the game, the second you start maxing them out, um, you get worried, because you're like, well, shit, that means that I'm getting closer. But it feels like there's still so much more. Hey there, mister. So maybe it's, it's just giving you lots of time to build up high honor. Hello? Claire, I need the pass. I'm gonna ride past you real quick. Officer. <laughs> Hello, mister. Hey, partner. I am so nice. See? Hi there. Hi there, mister. Okay. Post office. Hey there, mister. Um. Hey, mister. Yes, I know. I know. No. I don't. Oh, Lord. Hello, ladies. Hi. I keep forgetting to open doors gently. I see you there. Hello. Give me a minute, please. Do I have a bounty to pay? Glad to see you on the up and I didn't think yeah, I didn't think I did. Hello. What is worth checking though? Chuz! Yes! I wanna see! How's my boy doing? Right there, sir. Yes. Uh, Why? 
been some grip going around here, and I just thought, uh, Aww. you know what? Never mind. What can I do for you? You are my only true friend from those dark, dreary days. You did not ask for anything, you only gave. How perfect, how rare. I detest selfish asses more than civilization itself. What is civil civilization really but organized selfishness? Oh. Holler if you need help. Well, I'm glad that he's so happy there. That's good. I wonder if uh, the, the painting that we have or the, the sketch, if it would actually, like, can we sell it? Would it be worth more now than it would have been Thank had we not helped help. him? I'm so happy. I love Charles' as a little character. Like, just a side character, but still. Number one, I don't think I've ever seen Arthur laugh and smile as much as I did during that one side quest with Charles. Like, that was amazing. And then he's just hilarious. And then Arthur got a goodbye kiss from him, which is probably more action than he's had in literal years, including Mary. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Well, oh no, the, the other quest over here is gone. Maybe it's like a time thing. Okay, I want to see what this is. It's like in an area we've never been, which is weird. But um, I'm going to go there. I'll see how it goes. I feel like maybe we should like change clothes. I feel like we need to change and look, but I'm not sure what. Like I want to switch things up. But I've kind of gotten attached to like Arthur with long hair. <laughs> I love this game. Who fucking much? Can I help? Buenas tardes, señor. Pardon me. See what you get when you cross me. Okay. Well, I was gonna try and help catch the thief, but I Excuse think he's me. got it. I was a little bit worried he'd take it too far and would just start beating on him, but he didn't. Okay, Jimmy. The word is excuse me. I'm sorry. Arthur really needs to work on being a little more polite. We'll get there. I think I forgot what I was saying before. And oh, like I feel like it's time to switch up his look, but I don't know how because I'm too attached to him with long hair, you know? The music. Like, I guess we could try out short hair for a little while. Or maybe we could switch up, like, our clothes. But I don't know. I don't know, man. What's that? Okay, well, we're on our way. This game is dangerous, man. I am so overly... Oh, that's funny. Nice, Arthur. That was attractive. I'm so overly attached to this game that all I want to do is, like, sit by the fire with Arthur. Even if you don't say anything, you know? Just that comfort of, like... I don't know. Just... He doesn't even feel like a friend. He just feels like... Is it corny if I say... Home? <laughs> We've just, we've spent so long with him and he's just been such like a source of comfort because he's so familiar and we've spent so long with him that it truly does. Like, I don't know. That's, that, that is how you can tell that I'm just a little overly attached. I am turning to this video game for comfort in my dark times. And when I'm turning to this game for comfort in my dark times, that's how you know things are very, very wrong. Okay, let's see. I bet Arthur gives good hugs. That's all. I have nothing else intelligent to add. That is my deduction. I stand by it. I'm not even like a hugging person. Like, it's weird. I'm not like a, a super physically affectionate person. I've never been super huggy with any of my friends or family. 
I do. I have one friend, though. He gives, like, the best hugs, and I will take a hug anytime from him. Oh, hey, look, we got an entry. So, if I want a hug from somebody, that's how you know I really, really love them, and I really love Arthur. I don't want to look at his journal entries. Uh, where does this start? Oh, this is back at Shady Bell. Yeah. Such is torn between his dreams of escape and his need to prove something or other. I don't quite know what. Not sure he does. Yeah. See? I can't believe I saw that. What did you see? Seeing Arthur. Oh, I wanted to see if there was more, though, to that. Yes, chapter... Wait, is this... Yes. Okay. Shady Bell. Oh, I didn't even see all these. Meta Monk helped him free a couple of poor bastards from the island. Someplace who were being kept prisoner. The monk. What was his name? Brother Dorkins. That was his name. Brother something or other was a good fellow. One of these innocent people who make you feel better about human beings and even about yourself a little. Must be odd to see all that goodness in the world. Place always seemed dark and brutal to me. These journal entries are gonna mm, get an insight of how Arthur sees the world. Charles! There we go. Yeah. Mr. Professor Man. And the horse. What else do we have? <laughs> I want to read the latest ones. He has a lab at Dover Hill. Can we, can we go see him there? Oh yeah, we still have the serial killer. That's right. This is from so far back. This is Angela Bronte. Yeah, we're getting there then. Mary wrote to me. Wants to see me again. Oh, Mary, what fools we are. What a fool I am. That's so cute! Aww, I went to a ball like a fool in a fairy tale. I forgot to check up on this journal for so long. Man. Met Evelyn Miller, the writer, which was amazing for Dutch. Yeah, I feel like they didn't go into that because uh, uh, Miller was the writer that Dutch is always raving about. I kind of wish that I got in, like, maybe there was. maybe, And I just, like, ran past it of, like, Dutch talking to Miller and, like, fanboying over him. Damn. Oh, He admits he loves her. Funny thing is, I love her and yet am a bad lot. Old daddy is a good, upright man, and yet he treats his daughter like a possession to be mistreated and abused as he sees fit. Strange creatures, men. I don't know. He has that right, though. All I know is that I love her, and she both loves and detests me. It never worked before, and it won't ever work now. Yet it gnaws at me. The idea of it gnaws at me like a sickness. I've got to give all that nonsense up. I'm an outlaw, a murderer, a man with a code different to ordinary folk. And Mary ain't never going to be that. Be for my world. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! This is everything that I was talking about, though. With Arthur and how he views himself. This isn't even the latest stuff. He drew Sadie. Oh, nope. I don't. I don't. No. Oh, I can't. Kieran makes me sad. Okay, I'm back to where I wanted to be before. Right now, it don't seem likely. Dutch is raging about Bronte's deception or betrayal or whatever quite it was. Dutch don't like being made a fool of. Even Micah, with all his teasing and needling, plays it real cool with Dutch. 
I cannot see Dutch letting this pass, and he was so right! There's so much. Uh, here, here is where I left off. Does he talk about Jose or Lenny? Keep feeling sick, but I'm sure it's nothing. This damn swamp ain't natural. Hosea, Lenny. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. The bank job we planned so hard was a goddamn setup. Hosea got himself killed. Lenny got shot in the head. Marston got himself arrested and is awaiting trial. We fled, leapt on a ship, sailed into a storm. The ship sank. The whole thing like a dream, like a fool's nightmare. I survived that and being lost at sea. Got washed ashore on an island called Guarma. Whatever Tahiti is like, I hope it ain't nothing like Guarma. Some nasty bastard named Fusar had the people by the throat and we ended up in a fight with a goddamn army. Javier nearly died. I nearly got killed. <laughs> Upon returning, found the folk again. At least them as ain't dead. Gotta speak with a southern accent. But within a few hours, the Pinkertons had found all of us. Old Agent Milton wants all us, us all dead, and yet somehow we survived and are now planning another escape. Not sure what happens next. Whole thing has been hard on all of us. Most of all in Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we've gone through. <laughs> found Charles the artist dressed as a streetwalker, trying to flee from assorted men he defended, fleeing to the South Seas. Wonder if we'll see him there. Okay, 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 this is the one. <laughs> Go on. Turns out, I'm not very well. Got tuberculosis. Doctor did not know how long I would last. All them bullets shot at me, all them horses threw me, all them fights, and it was beating up that pathetic little fella Downs that killed me, I reckon. Because he was sick. Fuck, that's right! Oh, had we not been- Oh, had we not been a, a quote-unquote bad man and done terrible things, then he- Ooh, symbolism! Consequences of our actions! Ooh. He's the only man I've been near was real sick. He begged for mercy, and I beat the bastard, and he died. And now I'm dying too. The way of the world. My mind is racing, of course. That monk and that nun. Downs' his widow. Abigail. Mary. Dutch when I first knew him. Oh, the fact that he specifies Dutch when he first knew him. Hosea, my dead pa, the no good bastard, the whole crowd of people. And what kind of man have I been? What kind of man am I? What world is this we live in? A land of fury or a place of love? Am I being prepared for eternal damnation? Am I past any kind of saving? Is that all fairy tales? Man Man ain't got much good in him. I ain't got no good in me. I don't think. And yet I see goodness. I see it, if not in me, in good folk. In Abigail and her love for Dutch. In that silly monk. In Downs, I guess. Begging, not for himself, but for the poor. Even though he was near starving himself. Maybe I don't want salvation. Part of me has always longed for death. Well, here it comes, I suppose. And then it just says it right now. That's a really bad place, isn't it? Of that, I'm so sorry. Oregano. That sums up pretty much everything I was thinking, too, the last time and at the beginning of this video. Talking about the good and the bad that you put into this world and what makes it worth it in the end. And again, Arthur's saying he's not good, but he can see goodness.
I am hurt. And it's about the professor. Is it a dog? There's more! Talking about the mayor. The paintings. The criminal. <laughs> Charles. It was nighttime when I started reading, and now, now it's daytime. We just, you know. Were you just waiting for me? How can I help you? Well, sense of direction. Uh, it ain't good. Uh. Hey, where's the train station? Going around in circles. Here. Head on that way. You'll find it. You can mislead him. You oh, I'm cold. Gentleman. Sir. Um. <sighs> um. Can I? Can I? Horse clothes. Uh, here. Have a good night, sir. Be careful. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want my gun. But that's fine. We'll just wear this for now, as long as uh, it makes us not super cold. Um. No, drunk people are something. I don't want to say that was one of my favorite parts of going out <laughs> back before the pandemic, but uh. There are riots sometimes. Blow, boys, blow. I can't say anything because I I am one of those drunk people. I also have a habit of running, like just running off. I ended up on a roof one time across the street at a party I went to with strangers. They were very nice though. Uh, okay, what am I looking for? Excuse me. Morning, pal. You? No, inside. Okay. Um. Bertram, please. No. Bertram, say no. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have really betrayed okay? me at once. Hello? Imagine saving people, Go taking on. them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you what ever happened? betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers. Like a and they, sideshow oh, act? Now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little <laughs> tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuckity. Fuckity. What? What? Put the nice man down. Do something, you only eat him! Um, uh, <laughs> e e easy what? there. Uh, easy <laughs> there! Oh no. Sorry! Oh no! Easy, big guy. Oh, fucking shit! I don't. I'm. Oh! You ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. 
You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry. We'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Is that yes, the magician? Well, your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Do we have to oh, find a magician? Oh, now, whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's going to make it all better. But first, you got to tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract and he broke it. So I love this game. Exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? <laughs> you just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that <laughs> sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you get me started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. <laughs> oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come this on, Bertram. Game. Is just filled with such wild characters. And I love it. Like, what in the world? All right, girl. Okay, Jimmy. Hey there. I go from reading like super serious journal entries from Arthur to like this. And it's beautiful. Okay, it's, that's where he's camping out in the woods. We're gonna keep going forward first. Hey, mister. Have it. I hope Bertram has a good day. Yeah. Oh, my hat. We'll go shopping for new clothes later. I bet there's like nice clothes that we can find in other towns still that we haven't like really explored yet. I think I mainly went uh, a little shopping happy in Saint Denis, but I'm sure there's more. But no, again, just a game that's filled with so many yep. rich characters and so many stories to tell. Even completely bizarre, weird, and crazy. Like how they're just they're nuts. Some oh, I went the wrong way. Absolutely nuts. But it's so good! It makes it even better. I feel really bad. Okay, I... here. There you go. You get a hat in the rain, Arthur. We've just been in, in hot climates for so long... That I, I, I haven't been used to the cold yet. I don't, I don't know it's a... Oh, I need to be careful not to ride off of a cliff, man. Jeez. It's so nice exploring these areas. We didn't we help this dude or someone like him and he like gave us like a fortune or something? Like something really cryptic. Help the blind. I would like to. Hello? Help a blind man. I'm I want to. There we go. It wouldn't give me the option, but now it did. Have a good one. Be warned, sir. Do not slumber too deeply, for the man with no nose is coming for you. Alright, well, I'll have to take your word for it. <laughs> Come on, girl. So we have a Voldemort on our tail now, do we? Add that to the list of problems we have to deal with. I, for one would have money on Arthur. I think he could take Voldemort. Yeah. I mean, a split second with a gun versus yeah. a wand and spells, like, come on. Magic is cool and all, but up against Arthur in a gunfight, he isn't gonna do shit. This is so cool. Like, does it take us this far 
Am I allowed to just like break into homes? It's just like I want to explore, but isn't this stealing? This is stealing, right? I don't want to steal. Can you sleep in strangers' beds? No. <gasps> you can! What if I sleep and somebody comes back? There's a photo? Hmm. Okay, well, I will not sleep yep. in this random little cabin. Oh, my poor... my health! It's. I feel like it's draining so fast. Is that happening because he's sick, or is it happening because he's cold? I feel like normally, or maybe just because we were standing still all night in the cold, wet rain, reading Arthur's journals, maybe that's why. I'll take better care of him, I swear. Ooh, you almost ran me over, good sir. Or did I almost run him over? These are the questions you need to ask. Jimmy, move. It's so fucking pretty. <laughs> Jimmy just wanted a closer look at the water. It's okay. <laughs> Holy shit. And I didn't even know this area existed. It makes me want to travel so bad. Oh my god. Hello? This was supposed to be our little adventure. It's raining, ma'am. Uh, you alright there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. It if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... Is she... what happened? It's dark. We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something... true, something... real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to... Find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. How do we help? I'm gonna do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um... I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. Couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any... Poisonous berries, though. I'm a natural at finding those. This is so depressing. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. Is he gonna show her how to hunt? Alright. In the pouring rain? But you better not try any funny business. No yeah, funny business weak, here. But I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh... Let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. 
He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now, I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. Yeah, this is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I don't even have a knife with me. I have don't one. Worry, you won't need one. No. Take a look around for any movement. I, I don't need anything. Shh. Just keep your eyes peeled. I love Arthur so fucking much. Well, I see the rabbit right there. There. Look. A rabbit. Okay, stay quiet and still watch me. Do I have anything else besides just that? Oh! <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh. Good shot. Okay. Then, yeah. Time to get your hands dirty. All yours, right. lady. I mean, what do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. The fact that he couldn't just leave her alone, knowing that she wouldn't survive. Oh my! <laughs> it, it worked! Nah, you can do it. All there is to it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that... One can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. I believe in her. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Oh, Lord. No, we're done for now. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you see, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my my husband. Can we teach her how to use it? How to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. Hang on, wait for me. Yeah, we're a little low on meat. Wait, sorry, I, I don't have the energy to go that fast. <laughs> no. I guess we only know what we know. I, I just, I can't interrupt I'm them. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds off. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. Like, what other story lets us do this, you know? That's not what I wanted. Like, holy shit, man. And it is wonderful. Like, I drove, I feel like, halfway across the little land 
just to help a widow learn how to survive. I'm, I'm coming, don't worry. Like... Oh, I could have... Could I have talked to her beforehand? You can antagonize the poor widow. Who would do that? Who would go out of their way to help her and then just antagonize her, you know? Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. Arthur Morgan at your service. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. You're also soaked to Please the bone, do call lady. Again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, man. He tipped his hat at her. I don't know why that makes me as, like, emotional as it does, but it does. He tipped his hat. There's, I feel like there is so much left to explore. Like all of this range over here is just completely grayed out. Like, can we explore it by ourselves? Like, Jesus, there's so much. I really wish we could go up the cliff. But that's probably out of out of bounds. Damn. This game It's it's just beautiful. Like I don't know what I can say about it that I haven't already said. It's it's just fucking beautiful. And I would spend the rest of my life doing side quests, honestly. Helping out widows, you know, who can't help themselves. Can you imagine camping with Arthur in a tent and looking at that view? Mm. Oh my god. I don't know where I'm going. Hang on. No! I want the map. New journal entry. Can I access my journal from here? Yeah. Um, not this one. <laughs> Is that it? Okay. Alright, well, we're gonna fast travel. And we're gonna go back to the trading post. Let's go, Arthur! Let's go! We got this. Rain. Like I said, I miss the rain so much. It is literally my favorite thing to wake up to either rain or a cloudy sky. Like... If that could be... If I could live somewhere... Ooh. If I could live somewhere where that was, like, the permanent weather, honestly, I'd love that. Like I said, I've, I've spent far too long in the desert <laughs> to not miss the rain. I know it'd probably get, like, really old after you get hey, used to it and you have to deal with it all the time. Yeah. Like, that was me with snow. Um, I always thought snow was... <laughs> Why, yeah, yeah, that dog was in the middle of the road. But yeah, I used to love the snow, and then I moved somewhere where it snowed all the time, and it became a lot less fun. I was not a fan anymore after that. Nope. You know what? I, there is one type of snow that I do miss, though. It's like when it's first starting to snow and it's just a bunch of little flurries everywhere and you're like in your house and you're cozy and you have the heater on and you're watching it start to stick and maybe even pile up like that quiet calm 
feeling that I, I do miss. But then it sticks and then it stays and then it's just terrible to deal with. What is this? Hello. Hi. Is this you? Hey, mister. It's all right. Take what you need. Oh, well, you're very nice. Do I know you, mister? You kind of look familiar. Um. Don't think so. I get that sometimes. A feeling about a person or a place. I remember I stopped off in the town of Rhodes for a day or two last winter. As soon as I stepped foot in there, I sensed something. A mood. Sadness. Shame. Hard to say for sure. But you could feel it like a mist in the air. Oh. Well now. You know what I'm talking about, right? And I don't mean the normal kind of sadness in them southern towns. You see the color of my skin? I understand the difference well enough. Something else. I talked to a few folks, and it turns out something real bad did transpire. So? That's right. You dig beneath the surface a bit. Seems an innocent got killed. And the whole place has the blood on their hands. Now, I didn't get into no details, and they don't like talking about it, but it's quite a thing. Like, when you walk into an empty room and immediately either feel laughter or tears. Carry on. My mama left me for dead as a child, and I've been on my own ever since. Maybe that gives me a different eye for things. I don't hold any pain. Not no more. But I'm sure she carried that around, just like them people of Rhodes carries theirs. Well, can't be jawing all day. Things to do. Wow. Um. The fact <laughs> that that random encounter with a complete stranger who wasn't even a part of like a stranger mission got me to tears. <laughs> Fucking game. Hello, Mr. Magician. Whoa! <laughs> That's amazing. If Hi. You say so. <laughs> Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, Marjorie. she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. <laughs> She's a succubus. Ah! <laughs> stay away from me. Hey, oh, Arnold, come back here. And then it jumps straight into something like this. Like, where did he go? Is he? Oh, how? Uh um find you. That's a neat trick. Oh dinners and dancing girls in a puff of smoke. Like you're making a, a sick man run after you. Can we? Where you gone? Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Or is that just a random now, animal? She ain't as bad as all that. Or, or, a 
Okay, so I just I search. Where did he go? Hello? Over here, dummy. Oh, open the tree, okay. Why well, you led me on a merry old dance? Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? <laughs> Come and get me. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on there. Damn it. Long, dummy. What? Where are you? You really? Really? <laughs> Too bad about that train. Oh, and let's see it's on it somehow. Or beyond it. Is he actually magic? Damn it. Oh, oh, that but Oh no. No, no, no. Put me down. I ain't back. I'm gone on the next train to the Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> don't, don't shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off Arthur. without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. I mean, if he doesn't want to go. You your brother. So you are going to be pulling rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Oh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Met him at the bar, agreed to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't <laughs> suit me much. I know. Come to mama. Oh, Please. I did miss you. Mm. <laughs> now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Hey, Can we actually see them no in a show? Thing about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What bye. I deserve you too. Stay safe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I Let's go, girl. This This is yeah, I was gonna say this is not my horse. Why did you run that's my is that my no. I was like, well, hello, is that my other horse? No, that was back I have no idea. I just got on that horse like, oh hi, yes, hello, Jimmy. Oh my. Oh the professor, we can witness an execution now. How fun. How grand. There's so much left to do. And like, oh, God, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know what to do. Mm. I just, I don't, I don't want to do any of the main quests. I'm afraid of it like going too fast, you know? Also the fact that I'm just, I'm kind of, I don't know. I have a lot of complicated feelings about Dutch. And I have from the beginning. Like, I know a lot of you remember my rants about Dutch. I think I compared him to a Treasure Island character of, uh... God, I... I'm just... I'm stuck. 
like I didn't how do I put this I could see the start of this Dutch arc from the beginning it was just written all over the way that Dutch had these grand plans you know this desire to turn himself into something more but I was I was like disillusioned of him from the start but the more I play along with alongside him the more honestly the more I fell in love with him <laughs> and it's hard not to fall in love with these characters but even despite knowing his like almost his ego I still look to him as a leader and I don't know I still got attached to him oh hi Charles Good to know you're still with me at least. Oh, this is a mess. Yeah. I guess we see how all this plays out. Yeah. Seeing this family get fractured is just the hardest part, you know? Another day. Another day indeed, Mr. Bill. I want Dutch back, you know? I didn't think I'd care for the bastard so much, but I do. I do. Alright, well... We're, we're back in camp, but are we still not, we not telling anybody? Hi. Morning. Morning. Why are you doing this to yourself? You ain't looking too fine, neither. <sighs> okay, I'll leave you to it. Okay. Mary Beth. Another morning. It's gonna be all right. I feel like a prisoner here. We won't be here for too long. We just need an escape plan. Uh-huh. Yeah, Arthur. Hey, Jack. Morning, Arthur. Hey, buddy. You okay? Can I go play with the skull? <laughs> no. Just stay away from that cave. There's a cave yeah, nearby? Sure. Yeah, sure. Jack, you can't just go running off. I literally- I just rode back to camp because I want to change my outfit. That's- that's all. Okay, I'll be back. All I wanted. Just a change in clothes. Hi, Tilly. Hey, Tilly. Morning. Tilly is too pure. Things are kind of a mess. I love they? her. A mess you boys made. Was it me, Mary Beth, Susan, none of us? She's speaking truth. What do you want me to say? All right. <laughs> this is Grimshaw. Well, don't mind me, Tilly. Hi, Susan. Oh, don't you have any warmer clothes, Mr. Morgan? You're this okay, again. Sir. All those years, and look at us. It's pathetic. I ain't lost sight of that. Well, I suppose. Kane! Hey, boy. Uh. At least we still have Kane. One more. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted. Being back and interacting with it, I just... I don't want to lose this. But it's that terrible feeling that it's already... 
lost in a way, you know? Like, there's, like, it's, like, I don't, there's not much we could do. We're, it, we're literally all falling apart. Yes, Mac. Let's hope for a better day. I'm staying very far away. I see what you're up to. What's that, Morgan? Just know I'm watching you. Sure, Morgan. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> but <laughs> but he's funny sometimes. <laughs> Literally, he was fucking doing nothing, and Arthur just walks up like, I'm, I know what you're doing. I'm fucking watching you, and he's, sure, Arthur. Okay, Arthur. Whatever makes you happy. <laughs> My babes! Hello? Good morning. Hi, Javier. How are you? What's wrong? What happened to loyalty, Arthur? I keep asking myself the same question. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uncle! Good morning. Another morning. Yep. You, know, you might want to think about getting out of here soon. You can go where? Just don't leave it too late. Uh huh. Hey, yay, man. Come on, Jimmy. Let's go. Girl? Alright. Onwards, I suppose. <sighs> I love you. Hi, Charles. Hi. Thanks for sticking with us. Sometimes I don't know why. Well, hang in there. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna fast travel to Saint Denis, and then we'll go witness an execution. I guess. Back again, back again. Time to see the electric chair in action. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. almost got me, but she didn't. And I wonder how I end up, like, flying into so many trees and poles when I do shit like that. Oh my god. What's happening? Sorry, sir. Gotta go witness an execution. Excuse me, ma'am. Mind yourself, partner. Welcome, one! You're going to be in a better place. Oh my god. Breathe deep and repent. Or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen. What the fuck? Behold the calm removal of this man's existence. <laughs> It's so humane. So humane. <laughs> oh. We really should have found his calm for life this. May have been troubled, but his passing is peaceful. Kill him already. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody shoot me, please. Oh, let's get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. <laughs> I think it's mighty fine.
Ho! Oh! Ho! Oh. Can I loot him? Is that bad? No! No! Oh shit! Is that how that lowered my honor? Um, I have to make up for it. Hi. Okay, there we go. It's all better now. Hey there, mister. Hey there. Hi there, mister. All you have to do is say hi to some people, and that that's all. You know, there's something about this place. There's something about this place indeed. Come on, girl. Wow, okay then. That was the thing that happened. I like how we're all worried about our, like, eternal damnation. And then we do shit like that. Oops. Hey, move it. I don't know where I'm going. I think the last time I, I was... Okay, I can't just walk past. That? I was gonna say, that's an incredible feat, ma'am. To make such beautiful music without doing anything at all. You got a real talent, friend. Keep it up. I will not cry over that. I will. I will not. Why did that give me teary eyed? Teary eyed. Can we go tell this guy that he has serious talent too and to keep it up? What on earth are you doing? Hello, mister. I like this one. Good job. Hello, sir. I just Bring love him so much. Go away. <sighs> Who is the lady talking? <clears throat> I am. Hey, mister. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Howdy. Bonjour. I am. Hello. Hello. I thought I was over it. I don't know where this is coming from. It's just... I want him... to have so much more than all of this, you know? Hey there. I want him to be able to walk by street musicians. This town's a tinderbox. Then enjoy himself. I'm like, shut up, my dude! I'm having an emotional moment with Arthur, okay? I'm having an emotional connection. <laughs> that just... No matter how many times I say it, that it could all pretty much be summed up by just... I love him. And I want to give him the world, and I can't. Well, that's something that's surprisingly hard for a video game character. Like, I don't know. It's stupid, but that's how I feel. With you momentarily. I would like mail, please, sir. From Hello. the mayor. How can oh. Aha. Uh -huh. He was. That was the mayor there, right? I thought watching. Or at least someone who looked like him. Yeah. Okay. The work's hanging in a gallery quite rightly authenticated, and that grubby little man from New Haven has acquired some humility. Excellent. I do hope you might be willing to work with me again. Many men of more secure position than yours would do desperate things to be in good graces of the mayor. 
And to use an Americanism, I feel I still have some chips to cash. I trust you understand my meaning. Blackmail! Cool. As before, well, come to the back questions. of the mayoral residence one night and Jean-Marc will let you in. Thank you again, your friend Henry Lemieux? Lemo? Thank you, so... Yeah. Hey there, folks. Hey, partner. Hi. Alright, well, we'll go out and camp at his house That's again girl. and do that. Aww. I love this type of rain where it like fogs up everything, like fine Hello, mist of rain. What? I'm watching myself, don't worry. Hoi, hoi, hoi! This fucking game! It's so good! My best friend. Gavin? He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Still haven't found your boyfriend? Someone must have seen an Englishman. <laughs> Can we ever find Gavin? Because I realize he's been wandering for a long time, and I have seen no trace of Gavin in any of the towns that we've been in. Like, is that a quest that we can we can finish? <laughs> Oh, Gavin. Wait, wait, wait. Ready, ready, ready. Put him. Put worse. You're all right, girl. Hello. The hell's your problem? I'm not going that fast. Don't worry. Don't, don't. Get all hot and bothered. All right, to the mayor's house where we will camp in his backyard. Which really his backyard is like over here because no matter where I put myself it's still like like auto sets me to a specific area. Um no. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but you know what? That's okay. The more food the better for Arthur, honestly. All right, wilderness. Oh, no. Nope. This is wilderness. Yeah. Wilderness. <laughs> Gotta find that like boundary between city and wilderness. Like, oh no no no, a few more uh, steps that way. No no, it's, it's still too close. Um, I'm gonna eat some more, cause I'm really trying to beef them up. I don't even know how easy it is to gain weight when you're sick, but I will try my best. I think I can genuinely say that Arthur Morgan might be the death of me. Like, oof. New journal entry. Oh, is it gonna talk about seeing the man die? Is that what it's gonna be? Oh no, just the magician. Found the little magician and reunited this odd family. Fella tried to give me the slip a few times, but in the end, it seems they love each other even more than they hate each other. Or at least it was close. Want me to see their show sometime in Saint Denis and say they'll reward me as they were broke now. Ah, yeah. Took McDaniels in and watched him fry. Weren't very nice. Weren't very humane. The professor got upset and got involved before possibly killing himself with electricity. And I never got paid any money. If they catch me, I pray they hang me. That chair is the work of the devil. Indeed. It really was like a green mile! <laughs> God. Okay. To town. To see the mayor and do whatever he wants so he doesn't blackmail me because we stole from him. Easy, girl. Bye, little buddies. Bye, little. Oh, bye. Nearly running into things. Okay. Well. That's a treat. Cool. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, we didn't crash into anything. That was a miracle. All right, you stay here, Jimmy. I love you. Hey, you're okay, girl. Yeah, I'll brush you before I go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there, there, girl. What a good horse. Okay, girl. No. Uh. Okay. 
Well, let's see what he wants now. Gently. Mr. Mayor? Hello? You again. Oh, it's you. I got his letter. What can we do for you fine gentlemen on this evening? Uh, Mr. Arthur. Sir? Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make mm -hmm. civics and ethics less a work of uh, dirty-minded pragmatists like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. Sure. <laughs> but the rich can be so very self-absorbed. Very true. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you. But it's but... not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. What a great mayor. Whom? Oh. <laughs> Against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he? Yeah, Where do I find him? He's a newspaper man. And he's... He's a... leaving town on a coach. Heading to his country estate because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. So well, we're gonna go and uh, beat him up? Certainly won't like my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Arthur. <laughs> You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. So we are clear, I do not approve of this behavior. Yep, maybe you should be mayor instead. Where, where did Jimmy go? Jimmy? Yeah. Look at her go. I didn't realize that it called both of my okay, horses. Girl. I thought only the horse you had saddled would follow your whistle. That's why that horse keeps popping up. Oh. Like, I gen- Ooh. I genuinely thought, like, did I saddle that horse? I didn't think I did. We're just having lots of horses follow us. That's okay. We are a Disney princess. We will have all the animals following us and loving us. It's a dream. Alright. Is this where we're waiting? Cool. Um... I guess I'm gonna put this on and we'll just we'll chill out here and I'll wear my hat we're not suspicious at all is, is that the stagecoach <laughs> we're just waiting this isn't suspicious we're, we'll just stare while we wait I don't see any other stagecoaches so uh, hello. Mind if I, uh... Uh... Yeah! Oh. That's not what I wanted. Hi. Stop the coach! Who the heck are you? Hold it right there. You getting an extra passenger. Okay. When I get in, you carry on. Jimmy will follow behind. What the hell do you want? Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. And an Don't mind us. To your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no, it's not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can get a whole lot more impudent. But this is a good cause for a wealthy man such as yourself. The chance to add some dignity to all Is this the best dignity. thing for us to be doing, though? The library in town. Think of the prestige, sir. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor. The mayor? <laughs> The mayor is a crook. Yeah. And I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here. <laughs> What's he doing? Ah! Bad things just feels even worse now. Oh, I'm sorry, was that 
Yes, I'd like to finance the library for the common good. Oh. I didn't hear you. Do I, do I have to, or will he just give up? Jimmy following behind. Please! All right! All right! Ugh. All right. Well, we didn't really hurt him. See? That wasn't difficult. I guess. You know, they say it's better to give than to receive. And certainly in the case of a beating, I know that's true. Now, the mayor awaits your check, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. Let him live a little more. Driver! Hold up! Well, I mean, I guess books are good, so. As you work, helping fund the library. You know. It really does. Like, I hated doing bad things before, but. I don't know. Doing questionable things now. Just, like I said, it feels even worse. And I know he's technically blackmailing us, but still, it's like, mmm. Um, I normally try and do at least one main mission, one like yellow marker, like once per video, like. At least just something, but honestly, I don't know if I am in this one. Like, last episode was just so serious and so... Like, almost final that I... I don't want to let go. That's the problem, is I don't... I do not want to let go. Of this game, of these characters. So the longer I can spend with them, honestly, it sounds sounds nice. I don't even know where the mayor's is. Hang on. I'm going the complete opposite way. Okay. That's fine. But yeah, I just Morning. Man. I do not want to leave this wonderful little world that this video game has created. Even though it's terrible and horrible and it hurts my soul and my heart. It does it in like the best possible way, you know? And because of that, I, I just don't, I don't want to stop. And I know I will always have this game to come back to once I finish it. Like, it's not going anywhere. I paid money for it. I own it. It's anytime I want, I can boot it up and play. Second playthrough, third playthrough, etc. But, you know, still. This first time, I just, I don't... Yep. <sighs> I don't know if any of you guys have watched Doctor Who. I really only watched up until, like, season... Oh, that's an alligator. Um... Don't mind me. Is this safe? No, there's an alligator there. Uh -huh. I just... I just want to camp, but there are alligators everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna... That's an alligator. That's... That's an alligator. That's an alligator. But no, there is... Um, when the 10th Doctor, when he's regenerating, and he just says, I don't want to go, in like the saddest possible way, that's how I feel about this game. Is I I don't want to go. I don't. I can't camp until it's safe. But where's safety? Oh, that's not what I want. Where? Like over here? Is it safe? What about, like, right here? No. What about... Nope. What about here? No. 
Well, give me a second while I try and oh, figure out. There we go. Where I can camp. <laughs> Those are beautiful trees that the mayor has. You can look at them. Beautiful. We'll drive through them. Ooh, big jump, Jimmy. Big jump. All uh, right. Oh, I didn't sleep until night. God damn it. I don't even know if it'll let me sleep again. Well, we didn't sleep two times like successively. Like there were there were there was a wait time in between. So, I'm going to jump. Let's go over here and we'll sleep in his backyard. Come on, Jimmy. Let's go. Oh, Jimmy! Did you go for a swim, girl? Yeah. Sorry, girl. Yeah, I'm sorry. Jimmy is too good for this earth. I'm so sorry. Here, I'm gonna brush you and I'll pat you. Okay. Ugh. Honestly, it's a part of the Red Dead experience at this point. Alright. How does this end? Where's this going? Oh, Arthur, it's you. Come in. Where's what? Yeah. Jean-Marc is a little him? histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Afraid you're going to get told on? Perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Mm. Uh, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My okay. pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done what so do you much. Need? But, but what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. I don't want to do this. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh, I do not talk about idle gossip. No, Please. tell me all the blackmail. Do. And we Please, just... Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur. Oh, ho, ho, I don't like him. It's like some grade A bullshit. Horsey! Both of them, for some reason. I love you too, other horse, but... Jimmy's my main boo. Do we do we get a choice in this? Because that other guy, Jean Marc, literally just felt uncomfortable with all the illegal activity and corruption that was happening with the mayor. And now off to silence yet another one of his like political enemies. Like, do we do we get a choice? Like Like, I really hope we do, because I don't want to hurt him. Why you want to go and say those awful things about me, buddy? <laughs> Best not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is going to hurt, but it's for the best. <laughs> Ugh. 
I'm like afraid that the mayor is gonna have us like kill him once we get him back, honestly. Without being seen. There's a lawman right there! <laughs> Oh my god. How do I... Can I go, like, around the back? Oh my god. I don't want to get caught. Alright, um... Let's see. I really hope that there's like a back exit over here. Um, can I go through? I can go through the grass. Okay. Um, yeah, see, we're just gonna go all the way around here so that way they don't find us. It's the perfect place. Oh, I see him on the mini map. Okay, so may not be a perfect foolproof plan. Um, but you know, that's okay. Alright, alright, around the back, around the back, see? Flawless. Flawless. Beautiful execution. Ay, ay, ay. I'm not... Do I have to bring him around, like, the front instead of the back? It kind of looks like we do. But what if I... Is this- is- this door is gonna be locked. I'm gonna go up here for no reason, and then it's gonna have me turn back around and go to the front door, huh? It's not my fault. I thought ahead. I'm like, is that something I can do? Can I break the lock to the mayor's house? I'm not gonna- mm, I'm just gonna go this way. Fast run. Fast run. I can't blame Arthur, you know? Stairs are hard. Especially when you have tuberculosis and you're carrying an unconscious man, probably to his death. I feel like he goes faster up the stairs than down, which is kind of incredible. Like, we've gotten the chance to choose in a couple of quests before. Wait, Let us- rather bring him around the back. I was just- back excuse me have missed you have missed you what silly silly man we have been yeah he had a fall he might be a little woozy oh the poor boy Jean-Marc, can you hear me he's so phony uh, where am I le mieux what have you done? You had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord, our friend was there to find you. Makes me so hey, uncomfortable. I don't remember so well. No, Jean-Marc. Here. Ugh. My brother, my brother, Jean-Marc. Well, we've been so... I promise to change. I know. Ah, uh, what well, a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the I problem just... is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We, we will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. It's Atari, just Atari bullshit. Corrupted, You've not changed at all. Hunger Games I've president so coin style shit. A wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh. Say, I don't want this to go oh, bad. I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin 
is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. See, I will see, I fucking called it. No. I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. Fuck you. You're not really going to kill me, are you? Mm, thought I might. But uh, all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth you out of it. me, buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lemur's a foul rat. Give us a choice. Word. Give us a Let choice. Me live and I'll, I'll, I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. No. Nope. Come on. Please. Please. Come on. You want to show us a sad little man, would you? I might oh. be a brute. I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here. Don't mention me, boy. I give you Run. my word. Well, that's gonna go over fantastic with the mayor, huh? Yeah, he definitely on, didn't make girl. an enemy there. Which, to be to be fair, he I don't feel like he was ever a friend. Because he already had blackmail on us. And he, like... Wasn't even that he had blackmail, because sure, some people know enough about us to ruin our lives potentially, but they don't do anything. Easy, girl. But he he would do something. I don't know. I mean he probably wouldn't do anything if we didn't take the quest. He <laughs> probably would just fade into the background. But God. The the quest is well it's nighttime, maybe. See, I've already been recording for two hours. I feel like I've done so much, but I've done nothing at all. Like, should I do the main quest? But I don't know when it ends, you know? Like, I don't want to miss out on stuff. I don't know. This is the, like, eternal dilemma now. I don't know. All right, well, I think I'm going to fill out the rest of the video with more side quests because I just... I don't know, I'm not ready. And again, I'm just so afraid of these side quests disappearing. And also, I don't want to talk to Dutch and be sad. Just looking at Dutch makes me sad, honestly. Like, I don't know. You're all right, girl. Easy now. Hello? Hello? Hi? Man, you all right? I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, oh Jesus! Fucking bitch! What? is wrong with you? Oh, what the fuck? I'm gonna- I'm literally gonna die! What? <laughs> there were more of them? Why did they look all fucked up? They, they, look, they look like little like zombies. Like what the fuck happened to them? <laughs> what? Can I go find them again or is that just a random encounter? Old blackmailing Lamo has himself uh, has himself been threatened by his own assistant, a chap I never liked too much, name of John Mark. His spelling of John Mark. So I go hunting for John Mark. I mean, John Mark is a noble believer in truth and honesty, and I cannot stand his boss's lie. I'm charged with killing him. I cannot do it. John Mark is irritating, but the mayor is worse. The mayor is all that is bad in those who would rule over us, and it ain't my business at all. So I let them live and let them deal with it themselves. I guess I'm through with politics. I am proud of my boy for doing the right thing. I'm also still kind of creeped the fuck out by what happened. 
I should have just killed her, I guess. So that way I could have killed everyone else, too. But I think I was just a little bit, like, I wanted to know what was up. Like, what was wrong? Hello? Who are you? Can I help you? What's the commotion? You a loon or something? This night folk country. Night folk? I can look after myself. <laughs> okay. Maybe you should clear out though, if you're so troubled the things of the night. Are the night folk the people it's who just killed folk. us? And I would, it's just be on my property. Hey, w would you help me uh, get them off? Well, I, I I pay you for your troubles. Sure. You pay me, huh? Maybe. Did well, we run into the night folk we'll before see. we got this quest? All right. Let's go. Hey, it's just over there. You good man, partner. Uh huh. Uh. Jimmy. I'm gonna get my good guns uh, from my horse, though. I'll get my shotgun. Thank you. I shouldn't need anything else other than my shotgun. Um, this isn't what I wanted, though. Thank you. I carbon repeater and shotgun. Okay. Ooh, can I maintain them really quick? Really quick, dude. Can I not clean it? Do I, do I not have any gun oil? Is that what it is? Um, I'll fix them when I get into town. Alright, lead the way. Them night folk could put me on a pipe. They got their paws on me. Hang me up on a hardwood hammock. Boy, I'm lucky I ain't dead as it is. Uh -huh. Night folk. Oh, they bad people. Bad folk. Animals, a lot of them. You know, I ain't never heard no night folk speak. There's not been one peep out of no night folk. Not that I ain't heard it, at least. Imagine not uttering a sound. Can you fathom that? Yeah. Mm. What kind of evil don't make no sound? It's bad, all right. Bad. I mean, I don't meet many folk out here mm -hmm. on my own, for the most part. But I still speak, you know? Well, I talk to myself, ain't no one else around. Chew my own goddamn ear off. I can imagine. <laughs> now, used to be the gators was the worst thing in the bayou. Gators and snakes. I've been snake bit more times I like to remember. Ain't been gator bit, though. Got well, that to be thankful for, at least. Gator bites is yeah. nasty. Mm -hmm. Angelo Bronte knows that. Bad, too. They call them snapping Ooh, in a bad way. I am, like, dead. Yeah, Hang on. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Arthur. I'm sorry. Yes, partner. Yep. Uh -huh. That's Oops. probably best. Um... Yeah, don't mind me. Okay, there we go. Damn bats. Don't you worry about no bats. I'll tell you when you got to worry, all right. Mm-hmm. How far away are they? Where are you leading me, man? Are they over here? Hello? Is anybody out there? I got myself dizzy by spinning that around. Can I like run ahead of you? Your old man bones are taking forever. Like over here. Oh hell. Look at that. He fresh. Jesus. You see what I mean? This night folk work. Are they zombies? I mean, A cannibal Good tribe? <laughs> With this game, I never this. know. Now come on. Where? Oh! <laughs> 
He's been there for why isn't anybody taking him down? I'm so perplexed, honestly. They might not speak, but they sure can see. It's like now, it's gonna be daytime. What a place to make your home. It's nice, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a stroll through the park. I can't even whistle for my horse. There's no escape. I see that one. Is there any of this? Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna stand right behind you. Like using my gun to like auto lock on any enemies just to be safe. There we go. Up there. Night folk up to all sorts. You go deal with them. I'll be here with my rat gun. Oh. Okay. Oh, they got someone. Holy shit. Hey. Clear off of there. Are they? They look different. No, maybe? I don't know. That shotgun made real easy work of everything. Okay, well. That's awesome. Gotta love creepy cannibals who paint themselves white that's okay I guess it's time for my reward well boy that's gotta be more of them oh okay boy here I'll see oh yeah yeah oh whoa I guess I should probably actually protect him, right? Whoa! Get him! Whoa! Oh, get him! Oh! I mean, that works too. Okay. Um, how about I do that? Okay. God damn you. A shotgun. It's gotta be them. Is that it? Is it done? Okay, they're dead. <sighs> okay, well, well. they're dead. <laughs> okay. I got something for you now. Take arrows. Take that arrow How too. Give me a moment. Uh, what? Uh, sure. Here what go, is it? Partner. What is this? Swamp trash? What did he give you us? That's some of the good stuff right there. You good man, mister. Damn decent. You sure you're gonna be okay? I'll be fine. Night folk won't come here anymore. They dumb, but they ain't stupid. Mm -hmm. well, so long now. Oh, that's, that's not what I want. I wanted this pick up did i accidentally steal from this man i would like to pick up my gun please thank you and i will loot this man and then i will leave this is this is bizarre okay well oh i don't know what i just did oh then crouch nearby and remain still. I mean, I didn't mean to do this. <laughs> but I guess if I accidentally put bait down anyways, and there's a predator that's gonna pop in, then I might as well wait, right? 
Is it just gonna be a gator that comes in? I guess this area isn't remote enough for, for pre predator traps. Okay, I guess not. Well, you know, that is, that's... Oh, it's a frog. I don't want to kill the frog. Can I... Can I kill the gator? I'm gonna study him. That's oh, a two star. I got him! I got him. He's just, he just starfished. He's a little angel going to heaven. I know, I'm sorry. I destroyed your, your pelt. My bad. Well, I'm providing for Arthur. He needs a lot more food now. So that's my way of helping him out. That's cool, girl. Okay. What is that over there? Yep. It's yellow. Oh, it's a gator. It's just a one star. That's a two star. Okay. Well, we're going to continue on our merry little way. Be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> I was. Yeah, you look like you need to take a load off. Oh, that's wow. not what I wanted. Ain't this a rare treat? Oh, hi. Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, now you know you look perfect, princess. <laughs> Uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Well, come on in. Rest a while. And we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided then. I'm gonna go freshen up. I... Is this I the house we're offer, supposed to I, rob? I best be on my way. Oh, come on now. How you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? <laughs> I'll go open that bottle. I don't know how to check. Um, satchel. No, I keep taking a screenshot. Um, because there, this was where the house robbery tip was, right? Aberdeen Farm? Is this the house we're supposed to rob? I guess there's nothing else here. Are we gonna go into their house and then rob them after hey, they sh come on in. Come on. show us hospitality? She ain't primping for hours up there. We'll never eat. Go check on her, will you? This is weird. Uh, well, just go hurry her up a little. <laughs> she won't listen to me. <laughs> go on, partner. Oh my. Why are they like that? This is weird. Ma'am? Is that a kid's toy? <gasps> well, look who it is. You are hungry, ain't you? <laughs> what is happening? I didn't mean to intrude, miss. <laughs> it's alright. Looking ain't a crime. You can stop have to a seat at the table. I'll be down in a minute. He just told me to come up here and what what is happening? Uh, 
I'm all trying to steal their shit. I'm being- I'm being such a bad person. Okay. Well, that's... I'm so confused, guys. What's happening? That moment when you know, Arthur's just invited to a random person's dinner. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of my mark. Uh, be down in just a minute. That is what I like to hear. Hey, now pull up a chair, partner. Okay. That's it. Yes, settle in. Make yourself at home. Do they just well, not hey, get a lot, hey. lot of company? Wait, this is just about perfect. God. One of the moments you wish could last forever. Well, like I said, uh, I can't stay for long. Then look at us, like a couple of old friends. <laughs> oh. It's a short life, but a merry one. Here we are. I mean, seeing All Arthur smiles nice. I hope you boys left some room in your trousers. Mmm, that smells delicious. <laughs> <laughs> the food don't smell too bad, neither. Oh, stop it, <laughs> yeah. you! How do you like it? Mmm, it's good. Different. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what to say. I'm so weirded you know out. This place used to be a pig farm when we was when we was kids. Yeah. Before we lost our ma and pa. Horrible business. Horrible. But we still got each other, ain't that right, honey pie? And we still know how to have a <laughs> whole killing oh, time. No. There. Ma and Pa? Yeah, that's for you. Yeah. There. Mm. Mm. Oh, they're related. Mm. Where are my manners? <laughs> Drinks. Yeah, I could definitely use a drink. What? <laughs> His face, though. <laughs> that stuff will put hair on your chest. Oh, oh no. I doubt he needs that. Let's loosen you up some more. No, I think we're good. I Come on, honey. I appreciate the hospitality, folks, but I best be on my way. No, already? I thought we was gonna have some fun together. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> can I just leave? Is that an option? We still can enjoy ourselves. Princess? Like, I don't want to, like, leave the mission. <laughs> I kind of want to see it out. Is that weird? See, he doesn't want to leave. Oh, it's so Come gross. On, friend. Sit yourself back down and loosen up a bit. Life's too short. Ah, what the hell? Is this a mistake? I feel like it's a mistake, <laughs> but I want to, like, I want to make the mistake. Uh, uh, to see what happens. Uh, oh, about time. Oh, take that's wait, wait. Wait. You're a feisty one. <laughs> wait, I didn't want that entirely. Wait. Do I just get robbed? Uh, Girl. What the hell just happened? How much money did they take? It's a pile of bodies? They took all my money? I thought I thought it would just be like like we'd get into a fight or something. Oh, please say there's nothing. You know, like like they'd try something and we'd get into a fight and then we'd kill them or something, but I didn't that's all my money. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, he's upstairs. Oh shit! He's a dollar. Okay. 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 Ooh. I feel I feel better now. I was about to be really pissed. Not even really pissed, more like, holy shit, that could actually happen. This is more along the lines of what I, I thought could happen. Like, okay. We get our money back. That's what I wanted. If we get our money back, then it was worth it, and I'm glad that I stayed. Uh if we don't get our money back, then I should have just left. Um, but we'll, we'll just search. Yeah, you fucking weirdo. Like, my god. So I guess they were trying to kill us then, right? But Arthur is just too strong and whatever it was didn't work on him? Or, I don't know. Oh, ma'am. Excuse me, I'm gonna walk over your corpse. Because they obviously didn't have a problem with killing anyone else. That was a pretty big pile of bodies. How many serial killers are in this game? Like, we still haven't found the other serial killer that was leaving clues. <laughs> That's a dangerous world out there. Okay, well maybe now these drawers will have something that belongs to me. Cocaine gum. Well, there's that. What about the chest that I have? Oh, an armoire. But it's not in the little yellow um, area, so it's probably not in here. Uh, six sons of Bitches. Could I have opened that before? Like, could I have found that? Did I miss it? I even searched. And still. Okay, please say my money is somewhere here. They, it's, we w haven't been gone for that long. It's not like they could have, like... They couldn't have, right? I'm, I'm, starting, to get, I'm starting to get a little worried. It's like they couldn't have spent it already. Where would they have gone? Um. Is it under the bed? Photograph. Oh. Ma and Pa. They obviously, uh. weren't a fan of Mom and Dad. A uh, bit. Mom and Dad probably didn't approve of the their relationship. Is there is there something over here? These drawers? Literally, where is my money? Is there, are there is there floorboards? Okay, I'm gonna lose my mind. Where's my money? Where is it? I'm gonna panic. Hello? Where's my money? Is there like a secret floor? Is there like an entrance? What? Am I missing it? Where am I missing it? Is it in this room? I'm starting to get worried. Ooh, drawer. Sewing table. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is it a secret, like, is it a safe or something? Oh, just a cupboard, okay. Well, that makes it easier. All my money. And plus some, I believe, actually. All right, well, uh, thank you for this experience. I will never be nice to strangers ever again. Thank you very much. 
is that the house that we were trying to rob then? Time, yeah. There yeah. we go. <laughs> oh, well, there's literally no other house here, so that has to be then. What did the the guy say about it? Probably something that maybe that there's like money or they're bad people. I don't know. Well, that was something. What doesn't this game have? Like, holy shit, guys. I'm gonna go to Valentine and wait until that, like, Albert Mason quest comes back, I think. Like, what? What? I feel like that could have been a whole movie in of itself. Like... I don't know. Feels like a more civilized version of, like, Wrong Turn. I'm surprised they didn't eat us or, like, eat other people and their meat. It seems like that's where the story would typically go. So I guess it was mild in that regard. They just stole from us and then tried to murder us along with a bunch of other people. Like, that's... Psh, that's child's play. We're so used to that now. That's nothing. New journal entry. Oh, I would like to see this. <laughs> what? Is it just a gator? Oh, I'm moving chapters. Hang on. Is it just that? It's li it's just a gator. That's all. That's all it is. There's... Oh, what's in here? Can I... And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. Oh, well, it's useful. these guys you again. A tree, but a good you can't punch my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my. Are we getting into a fistfight competition oh, with these guys? I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break Arthur's his glass face. jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Those hip movements. This is probably the weirdest. They, okay. <laughs> you really walloped him. Right. Okay. Mm. Your turn. I'm fine. Come on. Ooh, look there. I got a proper chin. Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above. Doesn't hurt. Hey, hey, hit me, me again. Right here. Right here. What? Oh. The fuck? You taught never to hit girls. The music in the Punch background. For once. Give me your worst. <laughs> Here I stand. <laughs> you enjoying this, man? Barely even felt it. There's only one thing for it, then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry, sir. Oh. <laughs> My turn. Oh. Oh. Enough, gentlemen. Yes, oh. I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive. Shoot him, <laughs> please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need you to need get to run, girl. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? I really- I don't. Okay. This- this- this game is certainly something. Okay, I just- I want this- I want this, that's all. Let's get you back to your room. This way. 
Where's my horse? Okay. Well, I'm gonna go do this quest now. I hope that they sort out whatever they've got going on. Again. Like, how many rich characters are in this game? Just... Wow. Okay. Well, I'll be back. I'm just gonna ride my merry way over. Oh, what's this? What a day, huh? We told you not to build on this land. Hey. Um. Oh, get okay. Get out of here. This doesn't concern you. What? Oh, do I not? Mind me. Oh, this is a, a shotgun. Oh, that's not quite what I wanted. Somehow still got him though. You good? Yeah. Been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told him where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. Well, I'm glad I could help. yourself, all right? Okay, continuing onwards. I haven't been over in this area in so long. Like, genuinely, the beginning of this game feels so... Yeah. Want to see how yours compares? I'll race you to Diablo Ridge, all right? Um, You're on, fella. Where, where's Diablo Ridge? Oh, oh, it has a little map. Right. Okay. Let's go. Okay, I raced Dutch. I can take your horse anytime. I raced Dutch and won. Not even on this horse. Yeah, what are you gonna do now, bitch? Ooh, unless I, like, fall, in which case I will lose, so I'm not going to do that. Ooh, look! We're using our fa- Cheater! Oh, is he good? Did he just fall? Is he fine? Okay. I wanted to make sure I wasn't racing someone who was actually hurt. At least this way he actually stands a chance. Woo! See, I'm being kind and fair. Let's leave him in the dust, girl. Yeah. Yeah. I do feel bad though, because he's like, oh, I just got a horse. I pray, like paid a lot of money for her and everything. Yeah. I was gonna be like, I didn't get my money's worth. In style. Much more than the purse to win races. <laughs> oh, okay. Good money for you. Whoa. All right, I'm due elsewhere. What in tarnation? Oh, um. Hey, not so fast. Hold up. It's on the line. God in heaven. 
Do I really <laughs> get bad honor for that? Uh, well, here's what we think of animal abuse where I'm from. So I don't regret that at all. And I ho hope that horse has like a lovely, lovely day. I don't even know where the horse went, uh, but I'm gonna yep. put my knife away and I'm gonna run away. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, Hi there, mister. He would have been fine. He would have been on his merry little way had he not hit his horse. But he hit his horse, and that means death. So you have chosen death. That's what I think about that. Okay, continuing on to what we were doing beforehand. I will make up the honor, I promise. <laughs> Sorry, bunny. That's a good girl. Is this- is this another serial killer clue? Do we find it? I'm gonna pick some herbs first. Creeping time. Hello? Down here? Well, I definitely found the last one. I do. I do see. Do you have a third clue for me? Oh, Jesus. <sighs> this is some sick tran. Oh, ooh, a safe key. We found the map to the serial killer. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't think I'd get that. Okay, well, we're, we're gonna do that. Come on. I've been recording for three hours already, guys. I don't know when to leave it. Ah, uh, like should I should I just pick it up next time? Okay, you know what? I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. Although I hate to, I could literally just keep playing for hours and hours and hours. But I have to like edit this video and get it up for patrons so I can get it out on time. But oh my goodness, what I've learned is that the side quests are almost equally as enriching as all the rest. Like, my goodness. I don't really have a lot to say other than I love Arthur Morgan. And I'm so sad I didn't go through his journal like earlier. But also I'm a little bit, I'm a little glad that I didn't because I feel like that on top of everything else might have actually been the death of me. And I, I don't, I don't think I was ready for that quite yet. But th literally this game is fucking wild. And I'm still not quite sure if I got attacked by like zombies in the swamp. I don't know what that was. I got robbed by an incest incestuous like brother and sister who were also ser serial killers. I helped find a serial killer. I have to go and actually find him and kill him, kill the serial killer, but he can't kill as well as us. So we got him. Like so many things happened in this episode. And all I could think of is how truly incredible this is. Like the whole experience, it's just fantastic. God. And again, the theme of Arthur coming to terms with who he is and making these decisions on who he wants to be. And I don't know if I'll be able to handle it 
if Arthur gets like softer in the game, you know, like, which I know, I guess I'm in control of that, of like him doing good. And I, I, I've made him do good things since the beginning. I've always had high honor. Until now, we're going to get that back up, I swear. But it was worth it, okay? He hit his horse. That's that, not okay. Not okay, man. But, I don't know. I just, I'm so curious to see the path that Arthur's going to take in coming to terms with everything. And I still, I really want to know if he's going to tell the camp. Again, I know it has to come out at some point. But, like, is he going to willingly tell the camp? Or are they just, are they going to find out that something's wrong with him? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know these things. I don't know. All I know is that I really, really love Arthur a lot. The fact that I could just spend three hours running around doing side quests and feel so happy because I don't have to talk to Dutch and deal with any serious shit. So, you know, no, but this game is truly a gift. So <sighs> yeah, it's 630 in the morning, so I'm going to head out, but I love you guys a lot. Thank you for watching. I know this one probably wasn't super interesting. It was all side quests, literally just all side quests, but I had a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. There were some interesting moments for sure, but I'm still not over. <laughs> My God. Okay. Well, again, I love you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, unlike Arthur Morgan, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.